Todd. We realize we haven't introduced our friendly friend Todd here. Our friendly Adam. plant friend. Our f friendly plant friend. From Ikea. Ikea. How much was Todd? Like five, Not very much. Like five bucks? If that, yeah. It's the cheapest pet you'll ever own. And the most well-behaved pet. Mm -hmm. He yep. does exactly as he's told, unless I tell him to move or something, then he <laughs> can't really do that. But be sure to smash that like button. Uh, uh, what else do they say? <laughs> Bing the bell, smash that like button. What about subscribe? Uh, subscribe and, so, oh wait, but we already said bell. Subscribe for a chance to win. Another video <clears throat> from us. <laughs> a special shout out. Become a super patron. And get, get snugs. A, a per, a what? And get snugs get from snugs. yours truly. <laughs> for the low price of $80. $80? Eighty $80 a month? $80 an hour. That seems, oh, I was going to say that seems like a steal. Yeah. 80, 80 bucks an hour. No. <laughs> no, that's not how Become happening. a patron for $80 a month and get, get snugs with two of your favorite boys. Boys. Like, subscribe, share. And go do something more useful with your time now. Bye bye. Go touch grass. <laughs> touch grass. Touch grass. <laughs> touch grass. Oh man. Skate fast. Skate. <laughs> See you in the next video. <laughs> that's that's going in the intro. Oh gosh. <laughs> yes. What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is Bo and Emery Unleashed. We're back with another one and today we're doing another tier list. So which tier list are we going to do today? We are going to do a Disney Pixar movie tier list. It says 27 Disney Pixar projects to date uh, that includes Turning Red. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Also, so I don't want to call you out, but you uh, said Bo and Emery. Did I do that? Yeah. But I did. I did. <laughs> Bo and Emery. That's okay. Bo and Emery Unleashed. I this think is, they know who we are. This is Bo and Emery Unleashed. There we go. For your information. So, <laughs> flat back to like three videos ago. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that. Um, <laughs> but over the years, they've been a lot of good, a lot of good Disney Pixar animations, you know, old and new. There's been some favorites. There's been some that just haven't hit the mark. So today we're just kind of, we're gonna dive into a lot of those. Um, obviously this isn't all encompassing for Disney or Disney Pixar in general. There are some tier lists that have three times as many of these as the list we have here. And so we just didn't want to take maybe an hour of our time mm -hmm. to waste your time <laughs> going through all of these. So we've got these 27, these 27 popular ones and we're just gonna, we're just gonna dive right in. Shall we? <laughs> so the first one on our list, the classic Toy Story. It's, it's it's been a while. I was just gonna say. I'm sure for you as well. Mm -hmm. um, I <laughs> the Toy Story movies for me, it's like it, I've seen it once, and I don't think I've ever seen it again. Yeah. That might have been when I was maybe 10 years old, Long if time that ago. even. So I don't know as if you've seen it more recently than I have. Mm, I feel like the most recent time I saw it is like at the dentist when they have those like movies playing and they're always like some kids movie. I feel like it was on mm -hmm. at one point. That's like the last time I remember. Mm -hmm. The only thing I really remember about Toy Story is Sid. Oh yeah. <laughs> and like yeah. The, all the creepy toys he made. I remember enjoying it when I did watch it. It was all right. I mean, it was a, it was a twist on something we haven't really seen before. And I remember, I know it's like incredibly high rated uh, mm -hmm. from critics and audience and yeah. things like that. So I think for me, I'd put it either, I'd probably put it B. Yeah, I'd put it in B. Mm -hmm. It's not the first movie I'd watch on this list by any right. means. Right, There's a lot more good ones, but uh, next one would be Ant Life. Same thing. I saw it once a long time ago. I didn't think I had much of an issue with it. But I'd probably put it on par with Toy Story. I'd, I'd put it lower than Toy Story because something about it to me is kind of creepy. Yeah. Maybe it's because they're all bugs, but there's like the whole like, 
like circus part with like that. I don't know, something about it. When I was a kid, I didn't really love seeing it. So mm -hmm. I'd probably put it in C. C. I would, I would be okay with that. C tier. Toy Story 2. Toy now, Story 2. As I mentioned to you before, I didn't, I, I couldn't remember much of what the second one was compared to the first one. Right. I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure the second one is the one with all the aliens and the claw machine and they're like, oh, the claw. <laughs> but I, <laughs> I honestly don't remember much else other mm -hmm. than that. I'd probably put it in B tier. B -tier. I'd put it at the same caliber as the normal Toy yeah. Story. Now the classic Monsters, Inc. I've seen this a few times. Yes. Quite a few times. I have it on disc. It's been a while since the last time I've seen it myself, mm -hmm. but you can't go wrong with, with Monsters, Inc. That kind of a vibe. And Boo is adorable in that Yeah. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, I think, it's a, I think it's a cool idea. I definitely remember watching it a lot and liking it. So <laughs> I'd probably put this one in A. It's not like a, a blow you out of the water movie, um, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Uh, so I'd probably reserve that for for like the S tier is like the just amazing ones. Like but the ones you can't miss. Yeah, Finding uh, Nemo. Finding Nemo. Another iconic. Another iconic one. Yeah, it's another one you can't go wrong with. Yeah. I'd put it on par with Monsters, Inc. The I only thing too. I have against it was well, the first time I saw it, I was super terrified of the sharks. In mm. the shark scene, just it, it didn't bode well with me. Yeah, but I'd what? be more scared of the jellyfish scene. Oh, I like the jellyfish scene. Oh. I thought it was kind of cool. Creep me out. <laughs> yeah, I put it with A. Uh, the original Incredibles. Oh. Oh, I think it was incredible. Myself. Yeah, <laughs> get it. It was pretty incredible. You incredible. Get it? You got it. Wow. <laughs> Smart. It's another. It's another hard hitter. Yeah, action packed, just fun. I, yeah, I. Yeah. And Jack Jack is cute. Yeah, and Dash was so cool. Mm -hmm. He like runs on the water and stuff. Everyone wanted to be like Dash. And Edna Mode. Edna Mode. <laughs> no capes. I would put this in S. S tier. Yeah. Yeah, I will agree with you on that one. The original cars. Original cars. Unpopular opinion, I don't like the original Cars all that much. I, it's been a while. Yeah, I, I might have seen this twice, and I actually really want to watch it again. It's been so long for me, probably at least over a decade since the last time I've seen it. Mm -hmm. I liked it. I liked it a lot. I mm -hmm. liked the concept. I like. It was an all-around wholesome, wholesome movie. I I would probably put this A tier myself. Okay, it's not I'd S. say I'd say B tier, but I uh, we can put it in A. Compared to the other Cars movies in the franchise, I think A is probably a safe bet. Yeah, this is easily the best Cars movie mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now Ratatouille, <laughs> Ratatouille, um, <laughs> for me, if anyone <laughs> knows me, I rave about Ratatouille <laughs> a little too much. I quote Ratatouille a little too much. He quotes it on the daily, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, we've we've watched it recently a few times. We've made it our goal, our lifetime goal, to try and quote the script perfectly. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. It's it's just such a good movie. Like the characters are great. Even the bad guy, Skinner, the little sh short chef guy, like mm -hmm. he's hilarious. I love the aesthetic of a French restaurant kitchen and mm -hmm. like all the food preparation animation looks so good. Mm -hmm. It's I mean, just an amazing For movie. what? Like mid, probably late 2000s, 2007. Okay. It was 2007. And that's the thing with a lot of these Pixar movies. I mean, you think about Toy Story animation, that was like 1999. It still looks good to this day. Mm -hmm. I think that's something that Pixar really should be recognized mm -hmm. for is just an outstanding work. And that was the same thing with uh, Treasure Planet too. Treasure Planet was such a For, I, what was it? What when that was, was that? like 03 or 03. 02, Early like 2000s. That. Yeah. Early 2000s animation. That was that was a, a really prime time for a lot of good, good Disney animation. Yeah. And they just kind of kept up with that yeah. really well. So. so yeah, easy S tier for Easily me. Easily S tier, yep. 
I would watch, that would be the movie I could watch over and over again and not get sick of it. Yep. Easily. Same with Wally e too. Wally e is so adorable. I haven't watched it for a while, mm -hmm. but I really need to watch it again. It's, it's, it's so out of the box. It's the futuristic that they saw in like, you know, late 2000s. Right, to yeah. Make in a Disney Pixar animation. And you can't hate any of the characters no. in this movie either. No, they're all, except for maybe the, uh, the steering wheel guy. Yeah. Yeah, he's not Auto. very nice. Yeah. <laughs> Auto. <laughs> Up. I would also put an S tier. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's a tear jerker. And it's also very likable characters, mm -hmm. all of them. And just a fun adventure. Mark my words when I say out of any movie that you've seen, the one movie that has the hardest hitting intro is probably oh gonna be Oh my up. gosh. The first five minutes. <laughs> of it that kills. Is the worst roller coaster of emotion <laughs> you'll see in any movie, animated <laughs> or real life. <laughs> oh yeah. But all around a good movie, S tier. I would watch that again mm -hmm. in a heartbeat. Mm -hmm. Toy Story 3. Three. Now this is the one in the daycare, right? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I think it's the one where like Andy moves away or something, or he's like going to college or mm -hmm. something. So some, it's, somehow I've seen he this made it once. to college. <laughs> somehow yeah. a kid like that made it to college. <laughs> I guess I've seen this once, and I remember not liking it all too much. Mm -hmm. I think that's kind of my thing with like sequels. If you just kind of keep milking it, I have high expectations, and usually they aren't very well met. I feel like I can't make a great judgment, but I'd probably put this one in like C with yeah. Bugs Life. It's just not, it yeah. doesn't really live up to the first two in my opinion. No, I didn't leave the theater after watching this with much as good of a taste as having seen the first two. Now Cars 2. Cars 2, it's kind of the same thing. Cause, I mean, I, I can appreciate that they wanted to take it in kind of a different direction with the whole like secret agent and like, you know, different location and all that action and stuff, but it didn't really do it for me. I'd probably also put that in C tier too. Like it was entertaining. Didn't live up to the first one. Yeah, it's not really my- it Just kind of hit a cliff. Yeah. Uh, Brave. Brave. Brave, I had just seen this one. Mm -hmm. What was it, last year? Sometime, yeah, we just recently watched it together. It was good. It was really good. I liked it a lot. I I would say it was it was good enough to be A tier. It's yeah, I I'd, I'd say A tier. Mm -hmm. It's got fun plot, good emotion, mm -hmm. cool theme. Uh, Monsters U. I told you that I hadn't seen this myself. Much like Monsters at Work, that's kind of the TV series that they just released last year. Mm -hmm. um, but what was your opinion on Monsters University? It's been a long time. I think I saw it when it came out in theaters. Trying to make it and trying to reach your goals and you know, it facing hardships, but still being able to, you know. I think I'd probably put it in B tier. It was definitely not like at the level of the original Monsters Inc, but it was, it was cute. So Inside Out, another one that I watched in theaters only one time mm -hmm. and Personally, I didn't like it, but I was also pretty young and probably didn't understand the theme of like, you know, understanding emotions. And I feel like it would resonate with me a lot more now mm -hmm. than it did when I was younger and I watched it. Yeah, and I'm, I'm in a very small minority that still hasn't seen Inside Out. So that might be a good opportunity for the two of us to kind of, for you to see it again mm -hmm. in the current day and for me to actually see it in the first time, so. Based off of my impression back when I watched it the first time in theaters, I'd probably put it in C, mm -hmm. but I know that a lot of people like this movie, so that yeah. might be quite the unpopular. <laughs> I think you're you're the only one out of the people I've heard of. That, that hasn't would, liked it. That haven't liked Inside Out. Good, good Dinosaur. Dragon. I oh, have the, not the seen good, this. The good dinosaur. What did you say? I said the the good dragon. Good dragon. Good dragon. I'd rather have it be a dragon. Yeah. To be honest. The good dinosaur. I haven't seen it. Oh yeah, no, I haven't seen so, it either. So we'll just put that in never put seen. That. I I don't think I've actually heard of anyone giving their opinions on that movie. I've heard it's sad. I feel like somebody told me like a while ago that it's just really sad, mm -hmm. especially for like a G. I think it's a G movie, right? Yeah and it's mm -hmm. like pretty brutal. Yeah. So. so if you've seen this, leave a comment down below if you've seen it or if you have any opinions on it, whether it's good or bad, something that's worth watching, let us know of that. Right. 
Finding Dory. Um, obviously the reboot of Finding Nemo. Definitely catering to the nostalgia of the people that saw Finding Nemo. Right. Kind of in the same sense that, you know, Incredibles 2 took, what, 15 years or something like that <laughs> to come out. Obviously not as good as Finding Nemo. Yeah, so it's agreed. not up to A tier. But it was good to see most of the cast back for a movie like this. And it, I didn't have any issue with it. I, I don't, I, I think it still filled me with a lot of good nostalgia, but obviously not as good as Finding Nemo. Yeah, I, I, I'm I kind of in the same boat. It wasn't anything super special, but it was still a, still a good movie. We'll, we'll shove that in B tier here. Ah, oh, look at that nice even break. <laughs> We're gonna ruin it real quick. Yeah. Um, well, not quite yet because neither of us have seen Cars 3. Cars 3. Um, Coco. Ah, oh, Coco, Coco makes me cry. I mean, same with Ratatouille and Wally. If there was a higher tier than S. I'd put this like at the top, like probably top three Pixar movies mm -hmm. for me at least. Just so good. <laughs> it was just, it was really wholesome and, and some, in a, a, a setting and perspective that a lot of movies, like it doesn't get a lot of attention. Right, yeah. Really? I think it was a, a really creative and, you know, entertaining and wholesome way to, to look into a culture that might not be quite as represented mm -hmm. in, exactly. in animated movies. Exactly. So. And that was another another huge tearjerker too. Oh yeah, absolutely. It was, it was hard. <laughs> it was really hard to watch the first time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in a good way, in a really good way. <laughs> so Incredibles 2, I think I'm of the opinion much like Finding Dory, that it wasn't as good as the original, but it was still good to see based on nostalgia. You know, as I said yeah. before, it, was, it took maybe 15, 15 plus years from yeah. the original Incredibles movie to actually release the second one. But it was it was good to see. Again, the target I think were probably people that saw the first one. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe catering to a, you know, a few more kids. I didn't enjoy the plot or the new characters quite as much as I hoped. It wasn't anything super special for me, but again, like, yeah, I, I don't mind seeing kind of a reboot of it regardless. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, I mean, I'd put this B or C. I, so I was gonna say C. C, I'll defer to you on that one. Toy Story 4. Toy Story 4. I have not seen Toy Story 4. I hadn't either. So we'll put this in never seen. Onward. Onward. Onward is cute. I mm -hmm. also, Tom Holland and Chris Pratt, a pretty good combo. You can't go wrong with that yeah, combo. Yeah, I really like just the wholesome adventure vibe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's just fun. I, it, it, it didn't, again, like it didn't blow me out of the water to put it in S tier for me. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd probably, I'd probably put it in A or B. A. I'd put it in A. It was a cute movie. Yeah. I definitely. would watch it again. Me too. Yeah. Uh, so. Ooh. Soul. Soul was a really good movie on par in a lot of emotion as Coco did. Oh yeah. Again, it was another underrepresented, you know, movie that we haven't really seen much of. Yeah. And it was it was refreshing to see. Yeah. I love the idea of of just finding purpose, mm -hmm. you know, and how sometimes that's pretty hard, but but you get there and being a piano player that really a lot of those parts spoke to me the animation was beautiful mm -hmm. yeah i love mm -hmm. love that movie yeah fantastic concept i wish i wish they could come up with more like these two movies Ugh. soul and coco it's just it, it was a home run it was it, it was, was really a real home run amazing i i would say the same with with luca too I, yeah at least in my opinion i i don't think it was as good as soul or and coco yeah, but I wouldn't was, put it on that level. It was a but. really good and cute, cute movie. Yeah, expressive in being yourself. Yeah. Um, no matter how, how different you might be. So I, I don't know, maybe that would be kind of alongside Onward. Yeah, I'd put it in A probably. Oops. Yeah, it was really good. It was I would good. recommend it and I would watch it again. Yes, me too. Monsters at Work, same thing. I, I hadn't seen it. I haven't seen uh, it. I didn't with, even know it existed. Yeah, same with Doug Days, kind of based around the movie Up. I haven't seen it, but both of those are new series as of last year on Disney+. Plus. Um, I hadn't heard anything about it. Me neither. Seems kind of just like a series of shorts, but... Mm -hmm. Oh, shorts is a whole nother thing. Yeah. The raccoons. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh. That might be another tier list. Yeah. Is we'll just to... Disney fix or like Pixar shorts. <sighs> the dog eating the French fries or whatever. Mm -hmm. If any of you remember that, like, <laughs> I can't really remember what it's about, but it was adorable. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, last one is turning red. One of their more recent ones. <laughs> Very much on par, I think, with Zootopia in the sense that it was really popular among the furry fandom. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for obvious reasons. And <laughs> it was cute. I, I thought it was, it was cute. cute. Another another representation that's that's not seen a lot nowadays, or really in general. Right, and yet it still very much applies to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. oh, so yeah. I think it, it was a good way to deliver kind of a universal message in just a way that you know, we haven't really seen a lot of before. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. I would probably put this on par with Onward and Luca. Yeah. Um, I don't know as if it was anything really breakthrough. For me, it wasn't It wasn't a crazy emotional ride. No. As some of these S-tier movies are. Um, but it was really good. I would watch it again in a heartbeat. So that kind of completes the tier list here. The S-tier. What we've got is the original Incredibles, Ratatouille as my favorite Disney Pixar movie of all time. Mm -hmm. Wally, we've got Up, and then kind of the emotional movies of Coco and Soul to round that out. So if you have any Disney Pixar movies that you think should deserve to be in the S tier, let us know in the comments down below. Mm -hmm. If you have any ideas of tier lists you think we should make, uh, let us know in the comments down below as well. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this with your friends, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. See ya.